So he's looking for a location. Yeah, this is like Scotland, Britain. I'm not sure, but it's like one of those aisles around there. He's looking for a location that Esther and whoever the crap I am. Hmm. Some like discovery, maybe? That makes sense. I wonder when this is set. I assume it's relatively modern day. Did anyone else see that? There was, there's walking up there. Someone's walking. Look, look at the ridge. When I move my camera to it, it disappears. And when I move it to the corner, it's especially vivid. But when I turn, it's gone. Oh, you freak, I hate you. See how he acts. Because it was definitely moving. That's for sure. Oh, holy crap. It's like, I was going to try and explore that, but it's like, you can't jump. And there's no real reason to, so it's like, why? I'm interested in this guy. This ghost kid. Oh, but I'm heading away from the red light. Dang it. It's no fun. I want to go over there. All night the boy has kept me lucid. I sat when I was at the very edge of despair, when I thought I would never unlock the secret of the island. I sat at the edge, and I watched the idiot boy blink through the night. He's mute, and he's retarded, and he has no thought in his metal head but to blink each wave and each minute aside until the morning comes and renders him blind as well as deaf mute. In many ways, we have much in common. See, this is a dead end. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, it goes up more. This is just unsettling. Everything about this. Hmm. I wonder if he'll reappear over there. Nobody over there. Not over there. Yeah, he's moved on. Oh my gosh. There's something... Okay. Now I'm just... Hecka tripping. So we're looking for the secret of the island. I, I assume it has to do with that spot, like some kind of maybe treasure. But I feel like that's too material. I feel like there's something spiritual instead. So we just keep on walking. Dead end. Oh, well, where the crap am I supposed to go? What? What's the point of making this path, then, if it's a dead end and it's pointless? Huh. 
okay. So, dear Esther, the game of Dylan's diminishing insanity. That's that's what this is right here. I could not live on an island alone like this. I'd I'd probably freak too hardcore. This is a barrel. I had kidney stones, and you visited me in the hospital after the operation. Hold up, one sec. My mom's calling me. Teehee. And we're back. When I was still half submerged in anesthetic, your outline and your speech both blurred. Now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape, and you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. Oh, did Esther get killed in a drunk driving accident? That's sad. He's writing all this to his dead friend. Must be why he's here, because his friend passed away and was like so curious about whatever this spot is or whatever. And Esther's trying to lot I mean, no, I'm not Esther. When I first looked into the shaft, I swear I felt the stones in my stomach shift in recognition. Oh, yep, I agree, bro. I agree. Don't worry though, we just go down the shaft and look around and we get superpowers. Where's that? Uh, there's a house. Spoiler alert, there's gonna be a bunch of paint cans. Is this a, what is this, a graveyard? I've begun my ascent on the green slope of the western side. I've looked deep into the mountain from the shaft and understood that I must go up and then find the way under. I will stash the last vestiges of my civilization in the stone walls and work deeper from there. I'm drawn by the aerial and the cliff edge. There is some form of rebirth waiting for me there. What is he doing? Like, looking for a spot to kill himself? Rebirth? Last vestige of civilization? Constructed originally in the early 1700s. Oh God, phone! You freaked me out. Had formalized into a career. The first habitual shepherd was a man called Jakobsen from a lineage of migratory Scandinavians. He was not considered a man of breeding by the mainlanders. He came here every summer whilst building the bothy, hoping eventually that becoming a man of property would secure him a wife and a lineage. Donnelly records that it did not. He caught some disease from his malcontented goats and died two years after completing it. There's no one to carve white lines into the cliff for him, either. Let's check this thing first. I really don't know what I'm looking for. I can't pick things up. I can't interact with the world. I might as well just keep going. More paint. More paint. Yeah, I'm not even going inside. I was just kind of looking through the windows. Because, I mean, really, though. So there's four chapters of the game. If that little scene selection was correct.
Wait, I thought I was supposed to be going up. What am I doing? He was drawn upwards. So we gotta gotta go up, right? No, but there's fences. He said like go up so he could find a way down. So I guess this is the up and this is the down. Oh oh well. So if this place is like abandoned and no one's really spent much time here, who went to all this work to make these freaking chain link fences on the side of this gosh dang cliff? Really though. Ooh, see I don't want to fall down there. Hmm. Looks kind of like the ruins of an old ship. Shortcut. Come back. Okay, that didn't work. What a pussy. He died from that. This kid. They found Jacobson in early spring. The thaw had only just come. Even though he'd been dead nearly seven months, his body had been frozen right down to the nerves and had not even begun to decompose. All around him, small flowers were reaching for the weak sun. The goats had adjusted happily to life without a shepherd and were grazing freely about the valley. Donnelly reports they hurled the body in fear and disgust down the shaft. That I cannot corroborate this story. Yeah, this is an old ship. You can, yeah. So that shaft from earlier, they threw the owner of the house down there after he died. Climbing down to the caves, I slipped and fell and have injured my leg. I think the femur is broken. It is clearly infected. The skin has turned a bright, tight pink, and the pain is crashing in on waves, winter tides against my shoreline, drowning out the ache of my stones. I struggled back to the bothy to rest, but it has become clear that there is only one way this is likely to end. The medical supplies I looted from the trawler have suddenly found their purpose. They will keep me lucid for my final ascent. Oh. Yep, there's only one way this can end. I don't think I'm supposed to go down there. Yep, that looks bad. I'm supposed to go down there. Just one sec. Oh my god. Okay, call me a pussy, but I had to get my dogs in here for this. Because, I mean, the way my rec room's laid out, when I'm sitting in my computer chair, I just have this old big room behind me. And this is where I was playing Dre, and, like, I always get those scary freaking noises around me. Because there's stuff shaking outside the house. And I just feel like I need my guard dogs behind my back. 
Ain't that right, puppies? I'm sorry. <sighs> this game's definitely a Half-Life 2 mod, though. Oh, bad idea, bro. Bad idea. Okay, chapter three. From here, this last time, I have understood there is no turning back. The torch is failing along with my resolve. I can hear the singing of the sea creatures from the passages above me, and they are promising the return of the gulls. Oh, you are so lucky, bro, that you didn't, like, fall on a stalagmite. Crap. Oh no, the flashlight broke. 